What's up guys, David, Worldwide Golf, here with Caesar, Greg Cesario from TaylorMade. Uh, what are we checking out? New high till four. All right, perfect. Have you heard about these? Uh, we've heard a little bit about it. All right, well, let's let's talk a little bit about okay. them. That's, or I want to see shots, first of all, but I can tell you what the magic is. All right, perfect. Because there is some really cool stuff about high toe four. It's all about really bounce selections, very uniquely and differently designed than what we have in the MG4 lineup. Okay. Uh, that complement the whole design style and design theme of what high toe is. Sure. Because high toe is a different shape. It's designed that way because it's designed with a higher center of gravity which from a wedge standpoint is what you want, especially in your lob wedges. Right, right. Because higher center of gravities allow us to produce that lower trajectory, higher spinning shot. And so something with high toe, would you say is more forgiving than what you might see in MG4? 100%, okay. I mean, forgiveness comes from, first of all, the size of the face. Okay, and we have full scoring grooves on our highest lofted wedges, actually all the way down to 56. Okay. And those extra grooves out there allow for different face impacts across the face and still maintain spin and friction on those miss hits. Right. And then with the bigger profile also that high toe has, you have that forgiveness story. So it's just a confident looking wedge when you put it into the ground. Absolutely. All right, well, you know, let's take four well, shots. You don't want to put it into the ground, literally. Yeah, well, you want to we're going to. It. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're All starting right. with. Yeah, let me give you, uh, let me give you our new ATX grind. Okay. I'll talk a little bit about that quickly because this is a sole design that really has some cool features on it based off of kind of a, a tri-level sole. Sure. As you can see, it has this leading edge, uh, chamfer that kind of protects the club as it enters the turf. Okay. Just allows it to get in without any grabbing and any digging. Right. If you happen to be a little bit on the steeper side. Sure. But the main interaction of this sole is in the center part. That's where all your bounce is. Right. That's what really engages with the ground and allows you to have that proper amount of resistance and kind of get into the clean. turf. Yeah. And then that trailing edge being removed there, and you can see that parting line mm -hmm. just allows that club to exit properly based off of your swing. And not get stuck in yeah, the background. Exactly. Mm, that's nice. So it's kind that of might, a kind of a cool design. That could fit me well. Okay. Well, should we hit a few and see how it goes? I mean, as we can see, I'm not I'm not afraid to get into the ground a bit. All right, well, trust the sole yep. here. Bounces friendly to yes. me. Good contact That one got there. through a little bit better. So what Thank we're you. looking at on this kind of distance, Dave, is that it's really about flighting your wedge. Sure. All right, the, the best wedge players out there on tour will keep that launch condition definitely at 30 degrees yep, or okay. slightly lower. Yep. And that's the CG story that kind of works for you with high toes to keep it down. If I had my launch monitor out here, you'd be definitely on that last one under 30 yeah, okay. with as much spin as we could possibly get. Right. You yeah, know, if course. we can keep your spin at 9,000 or above on this kind of distance, okay. you've got excellent launch conditions. Okay. And then, I mean, looking at the turf, obviously I'm getting down and through it. Is that more than what you'd expect to see or is that kind of what you'd expect to see with somebody that gets a little steeper? Yeah, I mean, everybody has different angles of attack. Yep. And with you being a little bit on the steeper side, that's definitely what I would expect to see. But when you look at really the levelness of this divot, yep. it doesn't continue to go down. Down, it comes you're out. You're actually getting out. And that's and what that's you're talking about. that's a sign of what that sole is working for gotcha. you. Gotcha, okay. Nice. Beautiful trajectory. Stopped there on go. a dime. Yep. There you go. Not mad at that at all. Third well, that time's felt, a charm. That felt great. Yeah, so just off of this shot, this is where I start my fittings with guys, is that I want to see what you do on kind of that three-quarter motion. Of course. Because that's where you really activate maybe your hands and your arms and Possibly it shows me maybe where a player might get too steep because you're sure. not making a full turn. Right. And you can get a little bit lifty. Yep, okay. When we get around the green is really where the magic starts happening with bounce fitting Perfect. and sole fitting. So we'll go up there next. All right, sounds good. So the key thing about high toe also is what the club looks like when you're setting up to it. Of course. Okay, so if you put this down, and take a look, tell me what your initial reaction is. Well, it goes right into the ground nicely. Doesn't feel like it's gonna sit up too high and if I get down, it's gonna bounce at me and blade it. Like it just blends right in great. 
Now, the other thing is when you look at really the shaping of this wedge, mm -hmm. it's a little bit non-traditional. Sure. For sure. And that's because of the high toe design, which allows us to get that CG up. Right. But when you have that CG and that higher toe look, you get a fuller looking face. You get a more confident looking of course. head where you feel like you can hit the ball all over the face. Anywhere. And still get spin, yep. still get control. Right. Um, I shaped the high toe very uniquely this season with this design because I wanted to create a lot of offset and radius okay, yeah. on that leading edge. Yep. That roundness is super critical based off of shot versatility. Okay. okay. So that'll help me kind of not maybe dig as much. It might take a little skinnier divot, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's okay. designed to definitely enter and exit the turf smoother. Yep. But it's also designed to be able to manipulate face angles. Okay. Because if you need to hit it high and soft, what do you do? You, you open it. Yep. You have to open the face. Right. And typically when you open a face of a wedge, that leading edge goes higher, mm. which is not a good thing. <laughs> but the way yeah. we shape the sole on, depending on which sole we have, that leading edge will still stay relatively low to the ground, but with the protection of bounce. Yep. You could lay this thing way open, yep. and it still looks like it's going yeah. and pointing at the target. Mm -hmm. This is our ATS sole. AT stands for all terrain, because okay. that's what this wedge is all about, and the S is just the standard sole shape. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, that checks up good. Do you that's find good that- contact. Do you find that something with like kind of weight more towards the toe wants to open and close a little bit or does it stabilize? So great question. So as much as we talk about center gravity position vertically, okay. which controls trajectory, yep. you also have a center gravity position from heel to toe. Right. So we have on the high toe is a much more centered CG positioning than any of our other wedges in our line. So what that does is when that CG lines up to the center of the face, mm -hmm. that is the highest forgiveness you can get. Gotcha. Okay. So that's stability. All right, perfect. Okay, beautiful. And that's what you want. You want just a, a slight little ground yep. interaction. You know, you're not steep here as much as you were on your 75 yard shot. Right, right. Okay, so now this actually as a fitter, I'm thinking, all right, we might not need a high bounce mm. around the green okay. for you. Okay, yep. Something okay. that sits a little closer into exactly, the ground. Exactly, okay. because you want to hit and have some versatility. Right. So it's not necessarily what you do out there. That's just a starting point. This is where the magic happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to that ATX yep. design. Perfect. Which we liked out there. Yes, and I would say even the same idea because of this kind of leading edge removal in a way or however you want to say yep. it, I still feel like it sits down just as much. Yeah, when I open it, okay, maybe brings in a little just more. Just a little bit, yep. I don't, I don't think but it's all I, that intimidating though. Once again, understanding, getting into how much shaffling you have at impact, right. what your angle of attack is. There's a lot of variables going that now makes this work a little bit differently than just checking it out of how you set it up. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, All this right. one, I mean, this one I almost feel like I can get. So now you can go ahead and trust that little extra leading edge protection here. Okay. You got some bounce behind it. There's a nice high one. Go in. Okay. Oh. I like that actually, that I could, it, it See, feels like. You got a little bit more aggressive on that. Yep. A little steeper. Mm -hmm. But did you even take a divot there? Not at all. No. <laughs> it, it literally. It collected kind of the ball came and out of the ground up for me. Yeah. All right. So this is a fun thing about wedges is that we always have options, <laughs> and especially with high toe, we've got five different sole okay. options. Got it. To work with. All right. So this is a very popular sole that we've had in some of our previous high toe designs. If I can find it here, here we go. <laughs> You've heard of the ATV. Yep. There's a cult out okay. there that <laughs> love the ATV. That's right. So we brought it back in high toe four. That's cool. And I redesigned it and reshaped it to where I gave it some more playability and versatility. But it's a really cool sole when you look at kind of this pre-worn yeah. area yeah. in there. So that really takes a lot of the material out of the way. So this is actually a sole that when you look at the bounce, mm -hmm. it's kind of a little bit out towards the toe. Right, yeah. All right. 
when you put this into the ground, you can open this face and close it, and it just rides this beautiful point of contact back hmm. there, okay. which is where you want to engage the club into the ground. Right. You hear people talk about, use the bounce, use the bounce. Well, what does use the bounce mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, of course. Have, people don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. Using the bounce literally is making sure that the bounce interacts with the ground, depending on your angle of attack, either slightly before impact, right. just a split second, which protects that club from digging. Yep. Let's have you try the ATV sole. That actually felt really nice and crispy. Okay. And kind of the same thing where I get into the ground a little bit, just enough to let me really grip the ball, I feel like. But then that bounce kind of controls me, brings it up, I don't get stuck. I can kind of finish my small turn here Correct. through. I'm gonna show you a cool shot with that really highlights this wedge. Okay. All right, you remember I was telling you about where kind of the bounce lives on this. It's right. a little bit towards out towards the toe side of yep. things. Okay. I want you to set up with this shot with your hands a little bit more vertical. Okay. Because I want you to kind of feel like you're just engaging the club on that part of the okay. bounce. So almost a more not like a not like a putter stroke, but a little more well it's gonna be a little bit more of a arm and shoulder turn and a quieter hands. Yep on it, but I really want you to get vertical on that shaft okay. and try to hit the back of that sole into the ground. Oh. Roll back for him. Oh, that felt Come good. On. So a different <laughs> way to execute and engage that bounce. That's kind of nice because I mean, I feel like for a lot of players, the thought around the greens is always like, let me grab the 60 because I know I'll get it up and get it there and it'll spin. Yep. And sometimes, and then you get other players that maybe like to run something in lower, but this shows that I can do the same thing with both. You can, you can. It's, that's very cool. It's all about the versatility on this sole is that if you're a guy that's pretty shallow and you just pick the ball off the ground, beautiful sole for that type of player. Or if you want to get a little bit steeper right. with it, it also protects from that. So both both shots, one club. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is for one that's going to go a little lower. Yep. And just a little quieter hands and kind of a chip and run type of like that. Beautiful. And those are putts that we can make. Pretty fun yeah. shot. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we still have more souls to to experiment okay. with. Okay. So now we have the ATC sole. Okay. So the ATC is our lowest bounce design in the high toe franchise. It has this kind of this C shape right up front, but it's a very narrow part of that. Okay. But we have something very unique, which is a reverse C mm -hmm. effect on the trailing edge of this wedge. So what that enables the player to do is to really engage just the center part of this sole right there add impact right into the ground. So it plays as a narrow sole okay. versus the other ones are much wider. Right. Okay, this is for the player that really is, has great shot making skills, wants to pick it off a tight line right. without getting into the ground. Okay. But the cool thing about a low bounce design is that this actually plays very well out of a bunker, which is where right. sometimes you sacrifice with low bounce designs, they are not as easy to hit out of bunkers. Sure, yeah, it's gonna kind of stay in the sand. Maybe yeah, a little it's longer. gonna grab, yeah. there's no bounce there. But I put some extra bounce on the toe and the heel here. So it's kind of this really cool geometry where it still gives you some stability hmm. through the sand. So it's a low bounce design that plays wonderfully out of the bunker for okay. that type of player. Nice. Okay. Let's see, after three shots, maybe those weren't your crispest sure. you know, contact. Uh, that tells you that, hey, this might not be the sole geometry that favors my motion. And I would say maybe, maybe just myself thinking that and maybe trying to adjust, but I know yeah. that I would have a tendency to get into the ground. Okay. So when I hear lower bounce, I'm like, mm, I have to be perfect. And that might bring in more air for me as we kind of saw on a few of those where uh, a little high on one, a little yeah. low on the other. And then you're kind of thinking about it. Sure. And our final option is our ATW. Ooh, okay, okay. ATW, 14. W standing for wide. So this is 
our widest sole. This is our highest bounce. This is really for somebody just that struggles with their pitching and sure. chipping. Yep. Um, if you want to get out of a bunker, nine out of nine times, <laughs> this is put the, one. the ATW into your bag. Yep. Yeah, you can see how wide it is right here. Yeah, it's here. just a protection mechanism with a leading edge bounce, kind of a, a bigger version of that ATX. Sure, yeah, absolutely. As you can see, this protects that guy that is definitely steep from getting into the ground too quick, mm -hmm. but a lot of soul behind it to support the exit. Yeah, absolutely. On it. I mean, that, yeah, this thing could be a beast out of the bunkers. Now, the other thing that's cool is you'll see a profile size change yep this is about eight to ten percent bigger yeah a little bit bigger it's an oversized lob wedge yeah bigger face leading edge is definitely very clear with that painted leading edge groove mm -hmm. fuller face yep just Can a lot that. more room to hit the ball definitely yeah you're not gonna miss so have some fun with that okay one. <laughs> let it do its job <laughs> could even like dig it right in and still have it move. Yeah, you can go ahead and get steep on it and <laughs> yeah. it will still recover. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you know, on the, the most shots you can see how just like, and some of this is the grass, but yeah, you can this just is, see. This is tricky Kikuya grass that grabs no matter what. How easy it is to still get through something like that. Most players that struggle with wedges, higher handicap players, don't know how to angle their face right. properly. Right. They just stick it down dead square. And bury it and right in. Yeah, so you have to have a sole that is designed for the square position mm -hmm. that has forgiveness. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where this works wonderfully. Well, lots of great options here. Thank you, yeah. appreciate it. You got it, buddy. All right, guys, if you like what you see, check out the high toe four wedges from TaylorMade at a Worldwide Golf retail location near you or shop online at worldwidegolf.com. Thank you again.